Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So today I'm heading out to the garden and I'm gonna harvest some lettuce that we have growing out there right now. It's what almost mid-November and we're gonna have our first real freeze here tonight. And so uh, I've got cabbage out there, I've got turnips, I got carrots, I even have some potatoes growing out there right now, but um, the potatoes will probably die in the freeze, at least the leafies will. And um, I'll come out and harvest those later but whatever t potatoes are in the ground but that lettuce is not going to survive the night so i need to get that harvested out of the ground we'll use that to make a salad coming up soon and uh if you can hear it already man these motion detectors that we put out in the garden for the deer have been fantastic let me just give you a quick pick of the garden real quick you can see uh, i have cabbage out here i have the turnips coming up I have some garlic coming up, some carrots coming up. All cold weather stuff that'll do fine here. We're technically in the south. But, close the gate. Um, we have some sensors for these deer because they come in here and they love these leafy greens. They'll eat the cabbage, they'll eat the, the carrot tops, they'll eat the lettuce tops. And uh, I just won't get anything. So, I don't know if you can hear that right there. These things have been fantastic. I have three of these things stationed around my crops right now because I don't want any, let me turn this off. I don't know if that's bugging you on camera or not, <laughs> but it's starting to bug me. My kids walk by the garden and they're like, dad, it hurts. <laughs> but after being in the military and sitting next to a 25 millimeter cannon inside of a Bradley, my hearing ain't so good. Um, anyway, these sensors, I've got another one over there in the corner. I've got another one right over there. They do a fantastic job of keeping the deer out of this garden. And I've got some cabbages that are looking really fantastic right now. These things are gonna be great. They're gonna be, uh, they're growing up. They're starting to ball up already. But what I wanna do right now is come over and get this lettuce head. Let me show you. Growing up amongst some of these turnips is this beautiful, gorgeous head of butter crunch lettuce oh that just looks amazing and it tastes amazing i came out here uh yesterday and grabbed a leaf off and tasted it and i was like oh it's so good over here i've got um i believe this is jericho lettuce i'm not sure i think it's a jericho i'm not sure but i'm gonna harvest this one too and both of these together will be a salad coming up in the next day or so um, I have some other heads of lettuce that are coming up, but they're just not going to make it. This was actually a volunteer right here. Completely volunteer, completely volunteer, completely volunteer. Uh, seed spreads around. I harvested all of my lettuce seed, and a lot of it's just coming up in random places uh, amongst the garden. Oh, if you can hear that, that hurts. <laughs> Let me turn this one off, too. Look at that. Anyway, these um, are fa just fantastic. Fantastic. Here's some of the potatoes. That'll be dead before morning. All right, let's come over here and harvest this lettuce. Just a beautiful head of butter crunch. And um, last lettuce of the season. Just gorgeous. You know, the thing is, eat seasonally. You got to eat seasonally. Let me put the camera down so I can cut this real quick. There you go. Beautiful head of lettuce. You know... There is seasonal times to eat food. And a lot of people, I think, have forgotten this because we're so used to going to the grocery store and getting tomatoes in January, um, getting lettuce in January, or getting lettuce in, you know, in February. I mean, really, unless you have a greenhouse, you just can't grow those things. They don't grow. Fall and winter was a time of meat consumption. It's when you harvest meat because when you harvest meat, when you harvest animals, when you butcher animals, the world now becomes your refrigerator. And food that that kind of food will not spoil, so that's traditionally the time to eat meat. And Carnival, which we know today here in our country as Mardi Gras, was a time when people would um, say farewell to meat. It was in the springtime when temperatures would begin to rise, and the world wasn't your refrigerator anymore, or soon wouldn't be. And you could take that meat and then preserve it, smoke it, cure it, so that it would last throughout the warmer times of the year. But the fresh meat 
was gone. You couldn't do fresh meat anymore. And so carnival means farewell to meat. Carni meaning meat and then vol meaning farewell or bye. So farewell to meat. So people traditionally throughout history have always ate their food seasonally. And this is the last lettuce of the year. Last lettuce of the year. It's going to be a good one too. It's so tasty. Now some of these turnip greens will be eaten. Obviously we'll eat some of those turnip greens. And um, they're going to be delicious. These are Japanese turnips. I can't wait. These are my favorite turnips. They're so, so good. So, so good. But these haven't even started to ball up yet. Um, but they will. And uh, they can they can withstand temperatures of, you know, around 20 degrees before they die. And so we got some time still before that happens. We're, tonight we're going to get down to about 28, maybe 29 uh, we'll see how close how how cold it gets so these got some more growing to do these cabbages are just getting ready to start to ball up they have some more growing to do um, but they can handle temperatures down to 20 degrees they'll be all right we're still i mean we're technically in the south here and so these these are going to be great these are just starting to ball up so a little bit more time on the cabbage a little bit more time on the carrots a little bit more time on the turnips and I'm going to go down here, harvest this lettuce as well. And we're going to take it inside. And yeah, salad. I'll also make note over here on the side of the garden, also I have a lot of other volunteer lettuces that are coming up. You see that just from the seed that spread. Um, there's another one here. This is a lettuce, uh, one of the Jerichos, I think. There's other lettuce coming around too. All over here, different lettuces from the seed that spread. That's a butter crunch. I think that's a butter crunch. That's a butter crunch. But all edible you can always harvest these things until the freeze takes them away and eat them uh, the young tender leaves are are delicious um, but i won't i'll just mention again these little sensors do a fantastic job uh, i think we bought ours on amazon i'm not going to provide an amazon link because i don't really care about getting the tiny fraction of a cent pittance that amazon gives you when you share the link um, you'd have to have like a million subscribers to make any money off that but just giving you some heads up these things do work uh, the sun's getting ready to come out and we'll charge these sensors up and it'll be it'll be fantastic these do a great job of keeping the deer out of the garden and the deer right now are moving they will be in this garden they have really destroyed a lot of uh, my plants this year in fact um, they get over here to this point which is the furthest edge and you can see something's been chewing the tops of these potatoes down and it's the deer they're coming over here and they are eating like crazy uh, they're hungry but the tables are about to be turned on the deer because in a few short days i'm going to start exacting my revenge all summer long they ate my peppers my cucumbers my okra even destroyed a lot of my tomato plants i am going to get all of my okra peppers cucumbers tomato plants back in the form of red venison meat <laughs> Hunting season is about to begin, and I will get mine. I will get mine. Hey, listen, if you enjoyed the video, I really hope to earn your subscription today. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. And also, check out our merchandise over at teespring.com. Our bestseller, Stupid Should Hurt, is a re there's a reason why that's our bestseller, and that's because if there was a lot more hurt in this world, there'd be a lot less stupid. Check the links in the description below. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit a like. Let us know what your pulling out of your garden late this fall uh, i'd like to know and it might give us or others more growing ideas for next fall all right guys see you next time in the homestead bye hey guys i'm happy to introduce an american homestead sponsor zervita zeal now first off i only accept sponsors from products that i use and believe in my family uses zeal mainly because we want to ensure a healthy immune system you see it's made up of only whole food concentrates and includes no artificial colors flavors or preservatives the included sweetener is all natural from fruit and the stevia leaf. It's gluten-free, it's vegan, and it's kosher. In 2018, my youngest son was involved in a bike accident that resulted in the surgical removal of his spleen, and that's an important part of his immune system. And because we live on a farm, you can guess that having a healthy immune system for our family is very important. Some of the included ingredients are beetroot, chicory root, turmeric, moringa, blueberries, cranberry, goji berry, milk thistle, ginseng, alfalfa, broccoli, and so much more. It's these natural ingredients that can easily be made into a powerful and tasty drink that my family can make and feel good about. So sign up and give it a try today. Every purchase you make goes to help the homestead so that we can continue to make great homesteading videos for you. Link is in the description below.
Go ahead, give it a try. Hey guys, did you know you can become a patron of an American homestead? They get access to private videos and we send them gifts from the homestead that we make here on the homestead. And we also enter our patrons into special giveaways that are only available to them. And before you go, please check out these other great videos. Go ahead, click. Oh wait.